Hey, it's a way of life. Family members from the earliest age helping out on the farm. But new rules under consideration in Washington could change all that and end up costing everyone in the process. News Channel 25's Mark Wiggins joins us live in the newsroom with what farmers are saying and what the government isn't. Mark? Well, Bruce, despite our calls, the U.S. Department of Transportation wouldn't talk to us about what they're considering. But Central Texas farmers had plenty to say. At age 10, I was on a tractor. For as long as most can remember, it's been the first step, the initiation, into working the family farm. But it could one day be a thing of the past. Discussions are underway in Washington to require operators of farm equipment to have a commercial driver's license. And many worry such a step would put the family farm in peril. The vast majority of our farms are family farms. Operators of equipment are usually family members. And if that were to take place, that would eliminate some of the family participation in the farm operation. On his farm just outside the town of McGregor, Rodney Smallreedy grew up helping his dad. His son has grown up the same way. And with farmers facing tougher times than ever, Smallreedy is glad for the help. Right now I've got my young son. He's 11 years old. He can drive that tractor like a pro. Uh, and my dad, who is, will be 80 this year, well, my dad's not going to go get a CDL to drive a tractor. I just, that's not going to happen. And 11-year-old son, well, I'm going to have to wait, what, 10 years before he will be old enough to qualify to get a CDL. And I've got to have their help. Concerned with the amount of farm equipment making short hops between fields, the new requirements would subject farmers to the same rules governing truck drivers, requiring them to keep logs and limit their hours, and the prospect of replacing family help with expensive professional drivers, an idea that for many is just absurd. To me, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I mean, are we going to have to drive that tractor down to the Department of Public Safety? to take a driver's test in. As public hearings on the issue are expected to continue, many are frustrated, while others simply shake their heads. We have lost our understanding of rural life and agriculture. I'm not saying that anything's malicious at all, but they just don't understand.